iPhone 11 after one week of use. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine. Back with another video. This video, let's just talk about my iPhone 11. Let's talk about my iPhone 11. Now, there's four main things that I really want to talk about here. Um, the first one is the camera, the battery, the LCD, and this new i13 Bionic chip. So, the camera. Let's talk about this camera. I'm really, really loving the camera on the new iPhone 11. This was definitely the, one of the main reasons why I wanted to upgrade and get the new iPhone 11 because of the camera. I really like the wide angle, well not the wide angle, but this whole like super view mode that now you can do on an iPhone. Um, back in the day, you it, that was kind of like a GoPro type thing, that was something you really only see on GoPros, but now you can do it with an iPhone. If you are looking for that sort of shot, um, one of my main features about these new cameras is now the front camera, the front camera here shoots in 4K, and I love 4K, like I know a lot of people out there don't like 4K, and people question me all the time and say Jermaine why do you still upload in 4k and I, I always just think like why not upload upload in 4k and then there's also this whole question well most people that 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 that, that watch your watch your videos on your on, on cell phones they can't see it in 4k they only see it in 1080p or 720p well it's not made for those people I'm not uploading in 4k for those people I'm uploading in 4k for the people who can watch it in 4k so that's really um, the name of the game there. So um, I really love the fact of uh, the, this new front 4K camera, which is pretty cool. I, I love, I love, I definitely love this new front 4K camera. It's really, really nice. And they have definitely improved a lot with this new, um, with the new camera. Now, I, I, I must let you guys know that I did have an iPhone 7 before I upgraded to the iPhone 11. So there's a lot of uh, features that it not, are sort of not new on the iPhone 11, but to me, they're totally new. So I'm really, really loving this new camera. That well, the the two new cameras. I think it. I think this looks really cool on the back. You know, there's a lot of people saying that this looks ugly with all these different lenses and all these different cameras, but I, I think this looks really, really cool. I like it. I, I'm totally, totally digging this new look. I actually like the Pro better. I think the Pro, the camera setup on the Pro looks even better than this, but. I definitely like this whole setup. Um, so, what else? Um, okay, so next up is the battery. The battery. Let's talk about this battery. Now, once again, I've already said this once in this video, and I'm probably going to say it again, but I did have an iPhone. I had an iPhone 7 before I got this iPhone 11 about a week ago or nine days ago. The battery life on this is, um, I think it's pretty dang cool. I can wake up early in the morning, I can do things on my phone, I can go out and do deliveries up until maybe 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock and my phone's at like 30%. Now with my other iPhone 7, I would have to charge like... I, I, I would not have got that much of use on one battery. I would have to stop and charge somewhere in between. Not stop and charge, but just have a power bank. I have a power bank in my backpack now, but I'm noticing, I'm noticing that I'm not really using my power bank as much because right around lunchtime or right around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, I'll go like in and I'll use the 18 watt charger. And So just the other night I was working and I was going to go out and meet some friends later, but I needed to get a quick charge on my iPhone 11. So the first thing I did was to plug it up to the fast charger. And I really, really like the whole fast charger. Now I haven't used the wireless charging yet. I'll probably always have a case on my phone and I don't know if wireless charging will work with a case, especially this case. I really, really like this case. I'll put a link, an Amazon link in the description below, but this case is really cool. Check it out. It's like a lanyard, like you can wear it like this. Yeah, I, I, I'm really digging this case and I can even put my clipper card like right here. So whenever I get ready to, to take the train, I can just, you know, touch my card there. It, it, it's super easy, it's super cool. And it even have this stand where you can like, set it up like I'll show you guys you can unclip it from here like so and then you can move the case over and you can have it down like like this and you can watch TV when you're on an airplane or when you are at home or something like that it's pretty cool it's pretty simple it's pretty convenient okay let's talk about the LCD um, next on the list because we've talked about the battery and the charging and all that let's talk about this LCD 
I'm starting to notice that this LCD sucks, yo. Like, really, it's not the best LCD. Whenever I watch a lot of videos on this phone, I notice that it just doesn't look so great. It just doesn't look so good. If you really, really care about sharpness, if you really, really care about, um, like, videos and what they look like on the device, I would... Yeah, I just want to let you know that they don't look they don't look the best. I'm trying to totally clip this back on so my phone is connected. Um, that's just one thing I've noticed. I'm just not the fan of the screen. Um, the iPhone Pro has a much better screen, a much better screen. But also the iPhone Pro is about $300 more, and I'm totally fine with with, with this screen. But I've definitely noticed that yo, know, it's not the best screen. Like it's it's totally totally not the best screen. Now let's move on down to um, the, the i13 Bionic chip. Now this is this new chip that Apple has put in the phone and one thing I really love about this phone, I am the type of person that when Apple put all these like fast features and you know when you go on YouTube and you see people doing benchmark speed tests and, and stuff like that, I'm the type of user that I'll actually use a phone like that. Like I will literally push this phone to the limits like every day. With 4K video editing and when you render it, I, I mean, this phone is like working like crazy and that's one thing I've noticed it's like really really fast and it can handle a lot of tasks now once again I did tell you guys that I would say this multiple times in this video I did have an iPhone 7 before I did have an iPhone 7 and there was a lot of things on an iPhone 7 that I was unable to do that I can do on this iPhone 11 for example um, if you ever film with a GoPro and you film in 4k 60 frames per second you may notice that the files are like HVC they're like these funny files on my iPhone 11 on my iPhone 7 I could never upload those files onto my phone which was kind of annoying on my iPad Pro I was unable to upload these files to my iPad Pro and it was just kind of annoying but on my iPhone 11 it just works just fine whenever I film in 4k 60 lately I've been filming a lot in 4k 60 just because why not like I have a new camera that shoots in 4k 60 I have this phone that can process 4k 60 and I just really like the whole I like the style and I like the fluid of a 4k 60 video and I, I really like the fact that this phone has three cameras that shoot 4k 60 or maybe not three maybe two but yeah this camera shoots 4k 60 the front camera and the back camera shoots 4k 60 and now I'm back talking about cameras which was topic thing number two but you know this is my video I, I, I love this phone and I want to talk about a lot of things about this phone other other things that I kind of don't exactly like about this phone I, I'm not that big a fan of the size it is much bigger than your typical iPhone 7 it is slightly bigger now for $300 more you can get the iPhone Pro which is a little bit smaller if, if you got the smaller iPhone 11 Pro it, it would be smaller but once again it would be $300 more um, but I'm, I'm, I guess I'm kind of getting used to it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting used to it. It's a very, it's a, it's a beautiful phone. It's, I, I really like it. I really like this whole edge to, edge to the screen display. And one thing that, that I, I've heard a lot of people complain about is the notch. I've heard of so many people complain about the notch here. I actually don't really find the notch to be that bad. I mean, it's it's definitely there. And every now and then, when I'm um, when I'm using certain applications, I notice that okay, yeah, if the notch wasn't there, this would look a little bit different. Or, you know, if the notch wasn't there, it would it it, it, it just wouldn't cut out this part of the screen. But I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm I'm actually not really hating on the notch. I think it's it's not bad. I mean, it's not the the best thing in the world. And I can't wait till Apple comes out with a, a phone with no notch because no notch is better than a notch but the notch is not the worst thing in the world i feel like I'm, I'm i feel like an old person because so many other people have, have have got the iphone 10 and all these other iphones iphone r with the notch and i'm just finally catching up with this whole new trend of iphones and notches and wireless charging and and fast charging and dual cameras and I, 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 i'm just loving this i'm just loving this this is a really really cool phone um, would I recommend people to get this phone? Yeah, if you are upgrading from like an iPhone 6s or an iPhone 7, this is not a bad upgrade. It's not a bad upgrade at all. Now, I haven't used the iPhone Pro. I don't know exactly what the iPhone Pro does differently. I know the iPhone Pro has a better screen and the camera is uh, a little bit better or the cameras are a little bit better. I guess you can't say camera in a phone anymore because now phones have cameras. So, yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, now I'm back to talking about the cameras. I, I, I'm, I'm a really big fan of the cameras. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the cameras. It's just something I really like, like especially as a YouTuber, as a vlogger, I really like, I really like the camera. Now, since I got this iPhone 11, I'm not going to upgrade and get the new GoPro Hero 8 like I normally get. Like, like every year I usually get a new GoPro and I'm not gonna get the Hero 8 because I, 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 don't, I feel like I don't need the Hero 8 because now I got this phone and I can vlog with this phone and I can vlog with this phone, edit on this phone, and even upload from this phone. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And yeah, just wanted to make a video talking about this iPhone one week of use. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. I like it and it's a pretty cool thing. I definitely want it around. It'll be around. Yeah, I'll use it. I'll rock it. It's my swag. If you want to check out this case, I'll have an Amazon link in the description below. But anyway, guys, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.